So today I'm using a Hario bean grinder. Gonna make some coffee with uh, Bulletproof coffee and their upgraded MCT coconut oil. Here's the disassembled grinder. Here's the handle. There's a keeper. We've got a wheel with notch notched out wheel and a uh, washer that fits on there. A knurled knob. And this is the uh, ceramic element. These are the two ceramic elements that go together. Uh, one fits within the other. And here's the grind, uh, glass jar. So this element fits within, and depending on your adjustment, those two things move closer or further apart, and that's how you get your, your uh, grind. Washer, put that uh, disc on, spin that on finger tight. And this is how you get your initial adjustment for whatever grind that you're doing. You uh, get the, the two ceramic elements together and then just give that a, a finger tightness. And the way that you uh, achieve your, your grind is to set the wheel in the proper position and then you put that keeper on and that holds it in place forever, basically. Um, so you spin that a certain number of times. In this case, um, I'm spinning it counterclockwise, seven little notches, and that will give me a good uh, French press grind. Then you just install the keeper and the handle with the knurled knob. You can see the handle also has a, a, a flat spot ground on both sides, so that locks it in place. Spin that on, finger tight, and and you can see there's a little bit of play there between the two elements, and that's what gives you your grind. If you wanted that uh, finer for espresso, you'd um, tighten up that disc. It also has this um, piece that fits on the bottom. You need that to get some good uh, grip on your counter surface when you're grinding. So I used two slightly heaping tablespoons of beans, expecting that I might get about two slightly heaped uh, tablespoons of ground coffee. As it turned out, um, it yielded about three uh, tablespoons. It was uh, pretty simple to grind. It didn't take a lot of effort. I'd say it took about um, 60 cranks to uh, get the beans done. And so it was into the uh, French press And you can see there's a little bit of chaff there on the grinding wheel. Or grinding element, I guess it is. So you can see it's just, it's not heaping tablespoons, but just slightly heaped. And, and the grounds were just, it was a beautiful grind, I would say. And of course, the water just off the boil. And a little more. Agitate that with my favorite agitator and leave that sit five minutes. Bingo! Ready to make our coffee. Using the upgraded MCT oil and there we have our coffee. And voila!